up. Turn off basement lights. Oh no, light cool, light cool. Light cool, yeah. Good. Yeah, but in the camera, all you can, but in the camera, all you can see is this. <laughs> and it recovered. I'm doing it. That looks so cool. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Tinkering with Tiny Humans. I have my tiny human Jake here today, and we are so excited to share with you this fun project. So it's almost Christmas, and we have our family Christmas on the other side a week ahead of time, and Jake got this really neat kit from his cousin Matthew. Yeah, from his cousin Matthew. So we are going to unbox it for you today, uh, build it for you today and play with it and see if this is a fun product you might like. So this is from KiwiCo. They make a subscription service where they send you fun projects and you get to build them. We don't get anything from them. We're not sponsors or not sponsored by them, but I think it's really cool. So if you would like to try this after seeing this, uh, let us know how it turned out in the comments. Uh, let us know if there's any cool kits in the comments that you'd like us to try or that you think would like. We'd really appreciate it. All right, let's get started. All right, Jake, unbox it. All right, so it claims that it has everything you need, uh, including batteries, all the parts, and hopefully any tools. But we've got plenty of tools in case we need them, but we'll just go grab them if that ends up being the case. And uh, let's see what's inside the box. Instruction manual. Woohoo. Battery use instructions. Boo. Getting started kit. Guide kit. Okay. Ooh, throwable discs. Oh, these are those fun ones that are like folded up, and when you open them, they like pop open. Are cool. Like Crispies, yep. String. String, yep. String. Mm -hmm. Other string. Other string. Funnel. Nine bolt. I believe this is my nine bolt. It is. Nine bolt. Battery pack and other AA batteries. That's right. Do you know how many volts are in an uh in a AA battery? That's not rechargeable? Some. Yes, some volts. So it is less than nine volts. Do you know what it might be? Eight volts. No, it's one and a half. So if there's four of them and you added up all that voltage together, so if you took one and a half four times, what would it be? Man, I just got out of school. No, I'm sorry. It would be six. It would be six volts. Excellent. Very good. LED light. Other random junk that we're going to need. Basin arms. Tissue paper! Remember, it's not junk if we need it. All right, so why don't you crack open the manual. First we have to build a base. Okay. We need the base, the arm pieces, the rubber rings, the battery packs, hmm. the batteries, the sticky foam feet, the bolts, and the nuts. Okay, so if you look at this wood, Notice how the outside of the wood is dark compared to the rest of it. Do you know why that is? No. This was probably done with a laser cutter. So a laser beam probably came through and cut this wood piece out. And it makes very precise, nice cuts without any rough edges. All right, so I'm gonna line up all the pieces and you grab the ones that you need, okay? Okay. And there's some little identifiers there. Some C's and some B's. Is this really a wrench? They made a wrench out of wood. That's gonna be cool. I told you that. Mm, neat. So I need this. Okay. So you keep the KiwiCo face facing you. Uh -huh. well, why don't we just engrave that in everything? Everything. You put this stuff here in this little hole. Uh -huh. I did this wrong. Oh. So what was the mistake you made so that others can um, so figure it out? I should I mm. went I should have go went to this to this one back here okay. instead of this. Okay. So now we need the battery packs. Which one? Both of them? Uh, the bigger one. Okay. Is this? Yeah. What is the symbol for negative? Uh, minus. And what's the symbol for positive? A plus. Yeah. What's the color for positive? Uh, red. Yep. And what's the color for negative? White or blue? Black. Uh, Usually black. Yeah.
What? <laughs> it's like silly string. It is like silly string. This is super cool. That is a really cool pattern. Alexa, turn off basement lights. Alexa, turn off Christmas lights. Oh, yeah, it's like an Among Us character. <laughs> I guess. I just need to like edge this part out. Oh, it's just like. <clears throat> oh. Hey Lenny, can you go through it? Can you walk through it? Ah! <laughs> Alexa, turn off basement lights. Oh no, way cool, way cool. Way cool. Yeah. Bliss. But in the camera, all you can see is this. And it recovered! I hope you thought that was as cool as we did. I just can't tell you how surprised I was of how cool that was. That was way better than I imagined. It was way better than I imagined too. So thank you so much uh, to Cousin Matthew for getting this for us. We sure appreciate it. So there's a couple of things that went wrong with the kit, but we were able to overcome them. Uh, first off was the bummer of some missing parts. We did not have the rubber for these wheels. Um, and I'll play the video back to myself. I'm pretty sure we didn't lose it. I recorded the unboxing of it. Uh, I just think they were missing from the kit. The other thing that was strange is I think that one of these motors is mislabeled at the factory because we hooked it up so that one of them was opposite polarity and one of them was straight polarity and it still didn't work correctly. One gear was fighting against us and we had to switch it. I don't think it's anything we did. I think that at the factory they mislabeled the positive and negative terminals on the motor because when we switched it, it worked good, you know? All right, Jakey, so what did you learn from this project? So I learned that, uh, was it inertia or was it, I'm sorry. So, so there's two terms that can kind of come into play, inertia and momentum. And uh, inertia, inertia- is based on mass. That's right, yeah. And momentum is based on speed. Yeah, velocity and velocity mass, and yeah. Mass. The way to think about it is, uh, inertia is the resistance to motion. So if you have something with a lot of mass, like an elephant, and you run at full speed at the elephant and slam into it, it's just gonna laugh at you and probably won't even budge at all. But if you ran into a cube of styrofoam, which doesn't weigh very much, doesn't have a lot of mass, um, the styrofoam would go flying when you hit it because it has low inertia. So something with a lot of mass has high inertia and something with a little bit of mass has low inertia. Now momentum uh, includes velocity. So it takes into account how fast something is going. So when these counter rotating wheels take the string and it shoots it off this way, it gives the string enough momentum that it overcomes the force of gravity pulling it to the ground. So it appears as if it's defying gravity, but instead what we're doing is we are continuously adding momentum to the system that keeps us from uh, having to deal with gravity. Cool, huh? And we also decided that um, they paint the string with something that attracts UV light and this LED coil energizes it with UV light and that's what makes it glow in the dark and gave us all those cool results. That's true. Like it would, yeah, it would be green. super green right there because it was like energized with UV light and this stuff would not be as green because it was not energized with UV light. Well guys, if you liked this video, please like and subscribe because we're just getting started and we would love to make some more videos for you. And if you've done any cool crates or subscription services um, that you think is awesome and we should try, please put it down in the, uh, in the comments below and we'll check it out because we're always looking for new science cool stuff to do together. Yeah. All right. It's well, also because it's fun. And because it's fun. And I like doing projects with Jake and he likes doing projects with me. So thank you for joining us. Uh, until next time, have a great day. Bye.